you on the first question. Why are you running for this office and why do you feel you're qualified to do so? Well, as I said, I've been in management for the last 25 years in construction management, off and on. I have a state certified general contractor's license that I keep active. But when I look around and I see just like county equipment, and I see equipment sitting in one place for two or three weeks, and I think, well, if we got enough equipment, and we that we got this equipment sitting in one place for two or three weeks, we must have way too much equipment. I mean, that's not very responsible management. Uh, I look at when I decided to run. I have missed one county commissioner's meeting since the last of October when I decided to run them for, you know, first of November. And I can tell you, when I see those guys spending money sometimes, it, I can tell that they're spending somebody else's money because that's exactly the way they're spending it. If they were spending their own money, I guarantee you they'd be a little bit more careful about how they spend it. Uh, and that's one of the one of the issues uh, that I decided that helped me make up my mind to run for county commissioner. Thank you. I've been on the board twelve years. I've seen a lot of good times. I've seen a lot of bad times. We got a the economy flourish, land prices booming, development movement booming and everything is sold in price. Then I seen the downturn in the economy. Everything crashed. And on top of that, we had the oil spill. And that was another thing that devastated our county. Working with the TDC, we put things in place where we could advertise our beaches. CNN was advertising our beaches. We had oil on the beaches. We had balls on the beaches. We had to, we had to make sure that the media and, the, and put the right information out. So we launched a campaign to advertise and put out there our beaches were clean. We were we open for business. That was a challenge we had. That has paid off. You can look at how we're, how we're doing now, like I said before. Building permits are up, averaging 100 a month. Our county is growing. We've got job opportunities here. I think we're gonna have a lot of growth in Mossy Head Park. And we continue to look at issues like stormwater. Did we have stormwater issues all over this county? We're gonna have to deal with those issues. And they're not, they're not minor, they're gonna be expensive. Also, the 331 quarter, we've got to make sure we have the infrastructure in place to supply those business. We're going to have to have wastewater treatment plants. We're going to have to have water supply. And we're going to have to have to get that done in the near future because once that quarter is finished, that four lane is finished, I think you're going to see development. I think you're going to see hotels. <clears throat> you're going to have to see business, restaurants, or anything else that come up on that quarter. And it's going to be the, a good thing for our county. Looking at the 331 quarter from Paxton, to uh, Peniac Springs here. We're doing a pd &E study. The state's doing a pd &E study right now. That, that project's gonna start moving forward. We need, we need to continue to lobby Tallahassee to make sure they're on board trying to push these things through because those quarters need to be safe and functional. Also, we're trying to make the intersection of South Walton on 98. We just approved the John Rondo Street. We're gonna have a signalization turn lanes there and make that, that, that section of that quarter safe for the residents of Thank you. I think the question was, why am I qualified and, and why am I why, running? Why are you running and what do you feel? Oh. Why do you feel you well, <laughs> as far as qualifications, I'm a graduate of Troy State University. Uh, when I went to work at the Sheriff's Office, I started as a Corrections Officer. I worked, I was promoted to Deputy Sheriff. I, I was then promoted to Sergeant, then to Lieutenant, then to Patrol Commander. And the last four years I was at the Sheriff's Office, I was the Chief of Administration, which, which means I was over finance, uh, purchasing, uh, human resources, legal affairs, community affairs, school resource officers, uh, you name it, I was in charge of it, just about it. So, uh, and then I've said, as I said, I was a corrections officer for four years. Um, and I've been on numerous boards in the county. Uh, all of those jobs have 
I think, has shown me what we need to do as far as the county government. So as far as qualifications, I think that's why. As far as why I'm running, I've got four children who are adults from age 25 to 21. And I want those four children to have the opportunity. I don't want anybody to give them anything, but I want them to have the opportunity to work and to live in Walton County, to stay here and make a living wage at a job that pays a fair living wage where they can improve their life and where they can raise a family. And I don't think that's any different from most of y'all, but that's what you want for your children and your grandchildren. And to do that, first of all, government needs to get out of the way in a lot of cases. We are overtaxed, overspent, overregulated, and we need to change that. But we also, there are some things that government needs to do, providing quality infrastructure. We have dropped the ball on numerous occasions all over this county in providing the type of infrastructure that draws good jobs. Not, you know, all jobs are good, but we want jobs that pay a living wage. That's the one we should be focused on. And that's what I want to do if I'm elected county commissioner. Thank you. Thank you, Dan. Is this mic working? Can you hear me?